Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to another brand new episode here on Blowout Gaming. Guys, Genesis Part 2 is all I can do. I've said it a few times, and if you're not playing it, you have to. And today, guys, I wanted to take you through, just like I have done in the past, it's time to buy 150 Tier 1 loot crates, guys. That's right, I've already spawned in the hexagons. I don't know what this new hexagon thing is, but it almost crashed my game, okay? I don't know what this is, so I don't want to waste any time. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get this started. Alright guys, so I just got done getting everything organized, and as you can see, we have a little bit more here than uh, we did before. So, first and foremost, all of the ammo, we actually got one ammo crate, and we could fit all of it in here. And as you can see, it fills it out really nicely. I actually showed that in another video. If you haven't already seen that, make sure to check that out so you know how to spawn that in. But, as you can see, it's got pretty much everything in here, um, in addition to some new net ammo, which I'm not actually sure what this does. It actually says says used for rocket launchers but it didn't work in my rocket launcher so I've got to do a little bit more research on that but yeah guys you can definitely expect lots of ammo in that tier one loot crate now the other thing that we got was one bookshelf which was convenient for the few blueprints that we didn't end up getting and honestly the blueprints were uh, okay nothing too overpowered now when it comes to the refrigerators guys pretty straightforward we've got our raw meats prime meats, regular meats, fish meats. We've also got some cooked meats and some vegetables. And then we also have a bunch of mushrooms. Now, in reality, this map is pretty awesome because the new R plants are going to give us meats of all different kind. And then you can also see, guys, we have a little bit of ammo, some trank darts, some pheromone darts, and then a little bit of kibble. So again, it looks like the arc devs kind of even things out a little bit. I think that was actually pretty fair for 150 tier one loot crates. And then the second fridge here I just have it separated a little bit of ambergris and honey just because it takes up so much space now the main event guys the main vault tier one loot crate I have it split up here into six different categories armor weapons saddle resources miscellaneous and tools armor guys as you can see again we're looking at pretty much ramshackle apprentice and a couple journeyman items and you know what a pretty good selection I was pretty happy like I said I think they've pretty much evened this out a lot so we have cloth we have hide chitin fur gilly a little bit of flak, a tiny bit of hazard, and then a piece of riot and a piece of tech. And then a couple pieces of scuba to round it off. All the way around, I think they've pretty much figured this out, so that's pretty good. Now, when it comes to weapons, again, we have a pretty good selection and nothing too, too OP. I did get a random tech sword, which I wasn't really expecting. I love the fact that I did get a journeyman minigun, the new weapon, guys. That's fantastic. But... This is the big surprise right here, the Apprentice Net Gun. As you guys can see, this is actually a shotgun with a net gun attached to it. Very different than the Harpoon Launcher with the Net Gun Ammo. Gonna have to do some research, but I have not seen this. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen this brand new Net Gun. Very exciting. Now, when it comes to saddles, we got a very good selection. I'm not gonna go through them all because we obviously got multiples of lots, but nothing too OP except for this really random rock drake tech saddle which i don't have a rock drake on this map right now now resources guys i think that this was also a lot more balanced as you can see 150 loot crates and i ended up with just like a small sampling of resources so if you want to get resources from hlna just buy them with the hexagon straight up definitely don't worry about trying to get them in the loot crates and then we have our miscellaneous section so this guys is going to be our skins our colors our hairstyles some additional furniture that we got few water skins and then of course our seeds i love the fact that we can get our x and z seeds right off the bat in these tier one loot crates pretty impressive all the way around and then last but not least guys we have our tools section which is pretty much everything else you would expect all of the attachments for the weapons and all of the additional equipment i think the biggest surprise was that i ended up with three industrial forges which 
That's like unheard of in tier one. I don't know what happened with that. One cryo fridge, one transmitter, couple grills, a couple chem benches. Nothing too crazy, but three indie forges? That's super OP. Wasn't expecting that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's pretty much what we ended up with. Oh, yeah. And a ton of these charge batteries. I think that's pretty much a very common theme in this new Genesis Part 2 DLC is a big use for these charge batteries. So I have them over here in our Strider, and you know what? We're just charging them up. That's my basically my mobile charging station. So very convenient, guys. Lots of good loot in the Tier 1 loot crates. Make sure to hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button. And I will see you guys for Tier 2. I'll see you later.